Cybersecurity experts responding hacks said hackers with ties to the Russian military and spy agencies have been on an intelligence gathering spree in recent months, trying infiltrate NATO, U.S. and European government networks that could help Kremlin's war effort in Ukraine. A Russian hacking group targeted the Turkish unit of NATO's rapid deployable corps, causing the alliance to remain on standby for war. According to U.S. cybersecurity firm Palo Alto Networks, which shared its findings exclusively with CNN, Palo Alto Networks and other security firms said another Russian group had targeted nearly two dozen embassies in the past nine months, including the U.S. Embassy in Kiev. It was unclear whether the hackers successfully breached NATO forces. The alliance did not respond to multiple requests for comment. But Michael Sikorsky, chief technology officer of Unit 42, Palo Alto Network's Threat Intelligence Division, said the unit would likely have near-constant communication with NATO headquarters, making it a coveted target for Russian spies. The hacking group, which U.S. officials say operates on behalf of Russia's GRU military intelligence agency, has targeted governments and critical infrastructure in at least 10 NATO countries for secrets in the past several months. According to Palo Alto Networks, analysts said long-running espionage campaigns showed how the importance of remote intelligence gathering through hacking had increased for Kremlin after European and American governments expelled large numbers of Russian agents from their territory in Ukraine. Russian forces, which gave up on taking Kiev in February 2022, are collecting remote intelligence about diplomats in the capital through computer hacking teams if you want to understand the conversation governments are having with Kiev. It's best to get it from where the cables are going to be installed, said Dan Black, a former NATO cyber official who now works at security firm Mandiant. Black said a hacking unit affiliated with Russia's foreign intelligence service had gone into hyperdrive by targeting foreign diplomats to gather intelligence ahead of Ukraine's counteroffensive against Russian troops in June. In some cases, hacking campaigns began months ago, but the threat remains amid largely stalemated conflicts between Russia and Ukraine. Analysts told CNN. Russia's cyber espionage attacks in support of Ukraine war come after the U.S. Department of Justice announced Thursday that a Russian intelligence officer and a Russian IT employee were charged with conducting separate hacking campaigns to spy on U.S. government officials and interfere with national elections in United States. First reported this particular hacking campaign against Kyiv-based diplomats. The same Russian SVR-related hacking group also attempted infiltrate prominent humanitarian organizations based in Ukraine, according to Tony Adams, senior security researcher at security firm SecureWorks, which responded the hack.